Hi, my name is Dixie, and I just want to tell you that this Remarkable 2 is a Remarkable. I don't know how to do review videos, but I just want to jump to the chase and say that it really is Remarkable. So, I'm a court reporter. I've been reporting for 15 years, and I like to proofread my transcripts on paper. I would make a PDF, and I would print the paper, put holes in the paper, and put it in a binder, get a red pen, and then mark it all up, and then go to my computer, make the changes, then I'd be left with all kinds of paper to throw away or shred. This box, I don't know if you could really see it, but this is about a month's worth of transcripts that I need to shred. So not only would I have to spend time driving to the store to get paper or ink, for some reason I never was on the ball enough to, I always ran out of one or the other. It's like, hello, get enough at one point. But anyway, I was always running to the store for more ink for the printer or running to the store for more paper. And then I would also have all this paper to deal with and cluttering up my office, wondering when I was gonna get a chance to shred all this. And yeah, feeling the guilt of, you know, killing all the trees and using all the ink until I found the Remarkable. And Tony was using it to do his notes, make his notes. You know how the attorneys always have the yellow notebook? Well, it intrigued me because I saw that he was writing on this device. Well, I looked into it, and it's just, it really is like you're writing on paper. That's the thing about it, is that it, you still feel like you're writing on paper. And you still turn the pages like you would regular paper. And it's not like looking at a computer screen, you know, because the way it is, it's not bright. It's not like at you. Um... Yeah, and I can proofread anywhere. I will say that it's not waterproof, okay? So you have to be careful. I have splashed a little water on it and it was fine and wiped it off. Just need to be careful because I'm sure if it dropped into water, it would not survive. But I will say that I actually, my careless self, I dropped the whole pen into water. This is the pen. And I dropped it into the tub one time and it was submerged in the tub under the water for like a minute. And guess what? It's been fine. I just got it out real quick, dried it off, and it's been normal. So I guess this is waterproof. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really amazing and it's remarkable. And it's easy to send the files out after you've marked them up. If you want to send them to your scopist or send somebody something to look at their corrections, it's so simple. I'm not gonna get into how to do it and all that, but I'm telling you, it's, they made it technical, technologically easy to do. And as far as putting the files on, that's also easy from an app, an app that you install on your laptop. And then you're able to upload the PDFs and I think you can do other things, not just PDFs. Um, but that's what I needed it for, for my proofreading. So that's what I do. But I do know also if you want to doodle or like just do a page of something, you can just do a quick sheet or a notebook and it's just, you can play around with it. Um, there's also, with this pen, you can do it as a pencil, a marker, um, different widths of the, the, I don't know what it's called, but it's very customizable. The pen, this writing instrument is customizable. I won't really call it a pen because it can act as a pencil, a paintbrush, a highlighter, a calligraphy pen. My favorite's the calligraphy pen. It writes really pretty and it feels like you're writing on paper. And it's also easy to um, erase. It just somehow gets erased when you do that. <laughs> so I just want to say that it's really amazing and I love it. The only thing I would change about it, oh and you charge it right here. 
The only thing I would change is the way they have this to attach is with a magnet. And if you're messy like me, yeah, I just stick things in my, my briefcase, you know, my bag. And then sometimes I'll stick it in there and then it'll just kind of move around and then it'll be like, where's my pen? Where is it at? Um, so like, I wish it had maybe a strap or something other way to attach the pen other than just the magnet, the weak, it's kind of weak magnet. Anyway, other than that, I see no, nothing wrong with it. Um, it was about $600, so it's a pretty good investment, but it will have paid for itself probably in like four or five months. Well, with me, I really don't know how much I was spending on paper and ink, but in three or four months, I, I believe it will have paid for itself. Not to mention, you know, if you count the time that I had to drive to go get my supplies and get it out of the car and think about it and just... You know, all that? Oh yeah, it didn't have paid for itself. So it's really remarkable and I love it. So it's worth it. I think it's a great thing to have. So, all right, bye. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for watching.